Here we have two shotguns that we're going to uh, we're going to show you how to axe proof for Canadian firearm safety course or just for common knowledge. This one, this particular firearm, as I walked up to the table, I looked and I could see there was no cartridge in the chamber. So I'm axe proving this as I'm walking up. As I pick it up off the table, I look down the barrel and sure there are no, no obstructions in the barrel. To load the gun is fairly simple. It tells you the caliber on top. top. It is a 410 gauge, three inch full choke shotgun. Typically shotguns tell you stamped on the barrel, the data stamp, they tell you the caliber or gauge. They tell you the length of cartridge that they can take. And they sometimes tell you the choke if they're not an adjustable or a changeable choke system. So this, I know will fit because it is a 410 gauge, three inch shotgun shell. So I put it in the gun and I simply shut the action. It's a hinge or break action. So I shut the action and it's ready to, ready to use. To shoot this particular firearm, it's exposed hammer. To do that, you have to actually have to pull the hammer back so that it's cocked so that it is ready to shoot. If you decide you don't want to shoot the firearm, you have to uncock it. To do that, you have to be very careful. Of course, it's pointed in a safe direction, of course, in case it discharges. So you pull the hammer back and hold it tight. And you pull the trigger so the hammer will slide forward and you ease the hammer forward, taking your finger off the hammer and the trigger. Please note, if this happens while you are doing it, it will discharge, the gun will fire, okay? So be very cautious. Pull the hammer back, pull the trigger, ease it forward, take your hands off. To unload the firearm, very simple. Press that button and the, the action will open, the button right here. And this particular firearm has an ejector, which means when you open the barrel all the way, it ejects out the cartridge. I move it again, I can lay it on the table. The next type of break action is actually a double barrel. It's a double barrel and it's called specifically an over under. There are other types of hinge actions that are double barrels and the barrels are side by side. So they're typically called side by sides. This particular double action, the barrels are one over the other. So it's called an over under. So I look at it. And I, first thing I do after I've ax proved the gun is I look for the caliper and I can't find it anywhere. And that's because this gun was made in Turkey. It wasn't made in North America. So Turkish guns sometimes have the caliber on this side and this one does. It is a 12 gauge, two and three quarter and three inch shelled gun. It doesn't tell me the chokes because the chokes are interchangeable in this gun. You can put in whatever you want. Now I've axe proved the gun. I have two rules when loading guns, if at all possible. Number one, if at all possible to put the safety on, put the safety on. Number two, if at all possible to shut the action before you load the gun, shut the action. So I can't shut the action to load this, but I can put the safety on. So this safety is a slide, a tang safety. And you will see if you pull it all the way back, the safety is engaged. You can see an actual S there. This particular safety also will slide from side to side, which allows you to select the top or bottom barrel that you want to shoot. So for now, we're just going to keep it all the way back so the safety's on. I know it is a 12 gauge. These are 12 gauge shells. I look at the base of them. They're two and three quarter. They fit in. Now I just shut the action. The gun is ready to use. I can go hunting with the gun. If I see something, I can pop the safety off and shoot it. Or I can go to the skeet range, shoot skeet what have you. When I'm done at the end of the day, I want to unload the gun or I want to reload the gun. I simply turn this lever. The other one has a button. This has a lever. You push the lever to the right and then the action opens. Very simple. This has an, an extractor, not an ejector. So you have to actually extract the bullet into the cases. One thing I will note about these guns is when they break open the hinge there's a spot here that will pinch you if you're not careful so you do not want you do not want your hands around here when you open the action be cognizant of that and that's it those are break action firearms so if this were a range i would step back one meter away from the firing line so that the range would go cold and that's it